Hi everybody, it's One Cast One Fish, and today we're going to be tackling one of the most common questions I get about the Garmin Striker 4 Fish Finder. One of the most common questions I get about the Garmin Striker 4 Fish Finder is when we take and look at the sonar display screen, we want to know how much area around the boat is that display actually showing us. When we think about it, that question is totally legit. Who does not want to be able to take what we see on the sonar display screen, use that information, and translate it into how far around the boat or the kayak those returns are coming from? That's really good information to know. Now, if you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button in the lower right-hand corner. And please, don't forget to hit the bell notification so you're notified on the next One Cast One Fish video. Also, if you're looking for a new Garmin Striker 4 or Garmin Striker 4 accessories, be sure to check out the links below for some of the best deals you're going to find. Now, if you've watched my previous videos, you'll know what you see on your Garmin Striker 4 Fish Finder display screen. Fish. Structure. Bait. All this that you're seeing is going to be a representation of what's underneath your boat or kayak and within that transducer cone. Now when it comes to actually figuring out the area around our boat that that sonar cone is actually covering, we can use some advanced math formulas to figure out the exact diameter of our sonar cone and figure out exactly how much area around our boat or kayak we're actually looking at on the display screen. Now for all you evil math geniuses, I'm going to throw those formulas right up here on the screen so that way you can take a look at just how easy they are. Now for the rest of us, luckily Garmin threw us a bone. Garmin knew that we don't have time on the water to be doing advanced math formulas in our head, especially when we're concentrating on trying to catch some fish. So follow these menu settings and you're going to find out a little trick and tip that Garmin hid in the menu settings to make things a whole lot easier for you to determine how big an area your sonar cone is covering underneath your boat or kayak. From the traditional sonar screen you're going to want to hit the menu button. Next, scroll down to sonar setup and hit the enter button. Scroll to appearance and hit the enter button again. Now scroll down to the option for the A-scope and hit the enter button once more to turn the A-scope on. Notice how the A-scope appeared on the right hand side of the screen. The A-scope is going to show you what's happening inside your transducer cone area in real time. Now remember how I said Garmin threw us a bone to help us determine the diameter of our sonar cone? Look right here in the bottom right hand corner of the A-scope and you'll see a number. That number is your sonar cone diameter. As you can see as the depth changes, our sonar cone diameter is automatically updated. This lets you know how much area around your boat or kayak your transducer cone is covering at all times. Now I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you take this information back with you on the water in your Garmin Striker and use it to catch more fish. Now before you go, be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Be sure to like, comment, and share with all of your friends out there. And we'll see you next time on the water.